Tonight, a vigil will remember victims of domestic violence. More than 100 men and, uh, women and children, rather, were killed in Ohio last year as a result of domestic violence. At 9 on your side, Allie Kramer is live with more on the vigil tonight. Allie. Well, Catherine, hundreds of people will gather right here outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. It's a candlelight vigil to remember those lives lost. The numbers are staggering. Just last year, 1,400 people were killed across the United States as a result of domestic violence. Now, in years past, this vigil has been held inside the Hamilton County Courthouse, many clinging to photos of their loved ones. And tonight, it carries a special significance for several families. In Hamilton County, just since January, there have been three homicides related to domestic violence. We spoke to experts who work with domestic violence victims every day, and they say that it's not necessarily on the rise because numbers are already so high. One in four women will experience domestic violence, and one in seven men will be victims as well. The YWCA wants everyone to be able to identify those warning signs for deadly situations. The th three top indicators for lethality are somebody who has access to a weapon and has used it in the past to threaten or intimidate, the point of separation between the abuser and the survivor, and past threats of suicide or attempts to kill. Um, if these three things are happening, there is a very high chance that could lead to a homicide. And that vigil starts tonight at 6:15 again, right outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. And representatives with the YWCA and Women Helping Women, they will be here to be able to help people maybe get some resources and learn more about what you can do right here in the community. Reporting live, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side.